Hi, this is IKQ with a how-to guide to install software HD on your uh, Acer Aspire 1 netbook or any uh, Atom system. You won't need to do this for the Z series as it has hardware decoding for HD, but if you want to, you can. So our first stop is um, the CCC uh, codec pack. And uh, the CCP uh, has a pretty good codec pack, which you should use mostly for all your decoding. Next, we're off to the Core AVC codec, which you can get at freecodecs.com. Uh, Core AVC is a fantastic codec to use for software and hardware decoding of H.264 files, uh, which most Matroska files are encoded in. Um, you can use it later for decoding uh, Blu-ray and HD DVDs, but uh, that's for another how-to guide. Here we are installing the CCP codec pack. Um, when you install it, make sure you don't install the Zoom player, which is a pretty useless player. Just stick to the uh, Media Player Classic or Media Player uh, Home Theater version. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty fast process. Just click, 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 and you're true. Um, at this point, uh, CCP will ask you if you want to restart your PC. Since I installed over my old version, I just don't bother. Just keep clicking next until you're done. And then we'll be installing the Kodak 8.3, which we'll be taking the core AVC from. Uh, it's a very simple process, so after that, we'll be going straight to uh, configuration. Okay, so now we're going to go to the CCP's video filter. Uh, we're going to disable the FFD shows uh, Kodak so that we can use uh, the core AVC to decode H264. After that, we're going to go to the VS filter. Um, this is just for your anime fans out there because most anime which is encoded in HD is uh, packed into the Matroska container. And you will notice that sometimes the picture will lag when the subtitles appear. So, enabling the pre buffer sub picture in the VS filter should solve this problem. So now we're at the Core AVC's uh, settings window and um, we're just going to turn off all the bells and whistles because hopefully the HD content which you do download do not require any of these enhancements. So now we're nearly done. Um, the last few things to do is to go to um, w Media Player Classic and uh, set all uh, the video file associations which you want to set for it so that uh, when you double click those files Media Player Classic will play them automatically, or if you don't want to set it uh, to uh, play with Media Player Classic, um, Windows Player Media Player will automatically play them. Then uh, after that, then you just go to the output uh, and the preferences to make sure that it's set to overlay, since uh, most Atom systems cannot handle any other output after it has no hardware decoding. And uh, that's it. Hope you enjoy this guide.